journey through hell. Would you like to save yourself from this journey? I am Roberto Lima Neto, and I believe that our objective in life is to be happy, and that spirituality and Jungian psychology, my main areas of interest, can help us in our search for happiness. You probably know the traditional division of human life into two parts, but I think life can best be understood if divided into three parts. In the first half of life, our task is to strengthen our ego, to create space for us in human society. It's time to get a profession, make money, secure our financial independence and constitute a family. All external objectives. The second part of life starts with the middle age crisis that happens around 35 to 40 years. In this second part, we begin to question the objectives we choose for the first part. We start to feel that life asks us for something extra, but we may delay any action and continue our life fighting for the old objectives. In our materialistic Western societies, the midlife crisis, as strong as it may be, might not change the life of many. They continue to pursue earthly objectives, making more money, trying to climb the professional ladder, looking for external recognition and acquiring more material goods. In the third part of life, either we change our life or life forces us to change. Diseases, accidents, crises with familiars and so on. If you don't pay heed to life's signals, you may embark on a journey through hell. That is a metaphor for the life of old people that did not learn from life that did not understand that they need different life objectives, that they need to develop a spiritual life. An old Indian custom preached that when we reach 60, we should abandon all material pursuits and take care of our soul with ascetic living and meditation, probably moving to an ashram. Richard Raw, a Franciscan monk, wrote an excellent book, Falling Upwards, where he deals with this problem. He says that many elders can still be living in the first period. They have not grown into adulthood. We meet two kinds of old people in life. The ones that keep complaining from life, the boring elders, and the ones that give us pleasure to talk to. Unfortunately, the boring elders live in a kind of hell, a hell they themselves devised. Can we imagine how to live a life without an objective, waiting for death? may be hoping that death arrives soon. Unfortunately, in our Western societies, the majority of our elders belongs to this group. The second group, the sages, is not often found. Richard Rohr characterizes these two types well and gives us guidance as to how we can work to upgrade our life, to grow. My advice to you is to try to learn life from some of the wise men you meet. Since personal meetings may be difficult or impossible, some are dead, I suggest that you meet them through their writings. I have many people I admire, but only a few I choose as gurus. These are Jesus, the most important one, Carl Jung and Paramahansa Yogananda. My gallery of wise old men and women, in addition to the ones mentioned, include on psychology, Edward Edinger, James Hollis, Lionel Corbett, Robert Johnson on Christianity, Gid Griffiths, John Main, Henry Nowen, Meister Eckhart on mythology, Joseph Campbell, on Buddhism, the Dalai Lama, Thich Nhat Hanh, Shojan Trungpa, Sojal Rinpoche, on Hinduism, Vivekananda and Ramakrishna, on Sufism, Hazrat Inayat Khan, Pir Vilayat Inayat Khan on shamanism, Carlos Castaneda and Sandra Ingerman. But there are many others that I consider to be wise and that I try to learn from their books. You can save many mistakes in life if you follow their advice. I'm sure my list is incomplete. I gave preference to more recent authors because their language is best suited for our time. This justifies the exclusion of St. John of the Cross or other Christian saints. If you have suggestions, I would love to hear from you. 
I invite you to visit my site where you will find my other videos and additional information. I also invite you to download the free book Shortcuts to Happiness. My site is happinessacademyonline.org. I wish you happiness. Thanks for your time and attention.